I'm Marie Morgenthaler and welcome to the A-List. My guest on this edition is Chuck Somar, a member of the 70s classic rock band, The Ides of March. Thank you for coming on the show, Chuck. Marie, thanks for having me. This is exciting, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Great. <laughs> so, can you tell me kind of your inspiration on how you got started in music? Well, I started playing my trumpet. I'm still playing my trumpet after 50 years, believe it or not, but I started in uh, fifth grade from Berwyn, Illinois in the grammar school band, in the high school band, and I was classically trained as a trumpet player, and in 1969, uh, a bunch of my friends came by and said, you want to be in a band? And I said, yeah, because everybody wanted to be in a rock and roll band back in the 60s and 70s, and uh, you know, I wanted to be in the Beatles, actually. But uh, they said, sure, and three weeks, or three months later, uh, went into the recording studio, and I uh, recorded a song called Vehicle, and it was the fastest rising single in Warner Brothers history, and it changed my life we're forever. Sti we're still playing it here at we're, school. It, so it's amazing. Band. It's amazing, yeah. The marching bands play it. Uh, uh, it was sung uh, by Bo Bice on American Idol about five years ago, and uh, if you uh, YouTube it, there's jazz bands, marching bands, uh, all kinds of people still record the song. It's been a classic. classic so why did you pick trumpet. I mean, you could have picked saxophone or any of the well, others. Well, <laughs> a funny story. I wanted to be a trombone player, actually, and my uh, fifth grade band director said my arms were too short. Oh. Go figure. He said, I couldn't, I couldn't do this. Yeah. So uh, I started playing trumpet and mm -hmm. uh, went that way. My whole family's musical. My father played violin. My sister, uh, you know, we were all musical and so I picked the trumpet and just practiced, practiced, practiced and uh, still enjoying my music. So you said that you guys started in high school, you all met in high school and just started the band? Well, the band formed, uh, four original members started in 1964, uh, Jim Peterick, Bob Berglund, Larry Millis, and Mike Borch. And uh, I knew them in high school, mm -hmm. we were all high school buddies, and uh, they wanted to add a brass sound, that was kind of the Chicago sound, the band Chicago and the Mods and the Buckinghams, and, and, uh, and so they, asked me to be a member of the band and, uh, and we went in to record, like I said, with this new brass sound. And it was just a total success. I mean, and, and, and we've now kind of created that Chicago horn sound that's been associated with, with the town with a lot of the bands, so. So was Vehicle your, the first song that you guys made up or was it just one of the many that Really well, the original guys had a, had a, a regional hit in 1966 called You Wouldn't Listen, but uh, Vehicle was the big breakout song. It uh, became number one in the country, in Cashbox, and number two in the country in Billboard magazine, which were the, the, uh, the way you judged record sales. And uh, yeah, I was 17 years old, <laughs> a senior in high school, still <laughs> playing on the football team, and had a number one you know, uh, record in the country. It was pretty exciting. It really was. And I just want to say one quick thing too, kind of jumping forward, but last September, uh, the city of Berwyn dedicated the uh, Home Avenue, which is right in front of our old high school, the Ides mm -hmm. of March Way. So we now have a street named after That's us. That's cool. It's very cool. Real excited about that. So um, how'd you come up with the lyrics for Vehicle? Well, I didn't write the song. Jim Peter wrote the song, but uh, actually it has an RB connection. And uh, he, his girlfriend at the time, mm -hmm. and uh, Called, we kept calling him up and say, "Hey, can you drive me here? Can you drive me here?" Uh, there was a, you know, he said, "Oh, there's a concert at RB High School with the Turtles and a, a couple other bands." And uh, and you know, and he started thinking, "Hey, wait a minute! All you're doing is I'm just your vehicle. I'm driving you here, driving you there," and that's was the inspiration for the song. And Jim always says on stage too, uh, 37 years later, he, that woman's still his wife, so. Aww. So, but it all, and I, they met here at RB High School, believe it or not, so, but, but that was Jim's inspiration for the song. So did you, were you gonna go into a career of music? Like, was that your goal? My goal was to be a high school band director. Uh, classically trained, 
All through high school, I studied under uh, Reynolds Schoke, who was with uh, the Chicago Symphony Orchestra th at the time. Mm -hmm. And I went to Roosevelt University, Chicago Musical College, and I was on a track to be a classically, a classical trumpet player, a symphony player, and a band director. Um, and rock and roll, just kind of, you know, touch of fate and changed everything. And uh, But that's okay. I've been in, able to enjoy my classical music. I play in church. I play all over, still play with, uh, I played a season with the West Suburban Symphony Orchestra, uh, but rock and roll is my passion, and uh, so I've enjoyed doing that. I've had uh, some real good opportunities, too, with my music, and uh, I've toured with Brian Wilson of the Beach Boys and recorded a lot of radio and TV commercials and CDs, so I've worked with the Ides of March, but also had like a solo career, too, that's been a lot of fun. So the Ides of March, you guys are still together, you're still performing. We right? are still together. The original six guys <laughs> from the vehicle days, and uh, we're still out there playing. We, we do probably, um, you know, 20 to 30 shows a year uh, all over the country. Uh, I think you, we were talking about, you had a picture last year. We played in Santa Cruz, California. Last August, we, one weekend we were in Santa Cruz, California. The next weekend we were in Boston. Weekend after that, we were in Laredo, Texas, and then up to St. Germain, Wisconsin. So, um, yeah, we play play a lot. This I don't know when this is going to be aired, but uh, tomorrow night we play in Naperville at the Pfeiffer Auditorium, so to a sold-out show. Well, I think we have some footage of you, you guys performing, and some pictures. Yeah, it's, so. it's probably from our, uh, our 40th anniversary show. <laughs> uh, if I'm wearing a wacky flag vest on that yeah. video, okay. We'll look at that. So. Yeah, that's my uh, wacky flag vest that my sister gave to me as a, as a birthday gift in 1970, and it still fits me. And that's me on the far left uh, during our hippie days. You know, that's, that was the height of uh, vehicle and, and our touring. And we still get to do fun things, singing, singing at the Cellular One Field. Uh, that was 70s night last year. We've sung at every major sporting event or sports stadium here in the city of Chicago. That was last year in Santa Cruz. It was kind of a cool show. About 100 yards behind us was the Pacific Ocean. Wow. And we played on a, on a beach. Um, so it was fun. But uh, yeah, it's given me a lot of opportunities. That's and, good. Uh, I still enjoy it. There you go. Santa Cruz, living the dream, we call it. And, <laughs> uh, it's, my, it's my weekend warrior, warrior gig that uh, they have fun with. So um, what else does the Ides of March event-wise, what do you guys do? You, you do baseball games, I see. So. Oh yeah, we do a lot of charity work too. Um, uh, we're, we, we recorded a CD, one of our proudest uh, things is we recorded a CD for Holy Name Cathedral about three or four years ago. And uh, they sell it in their bookstore. And all the proceeds go to their Thursday night supper um, program to feed the homeless and uh, in the past two or three years they raised about eight thousand dollars for that program and uh, we give back last night I was the guest soloist with the Lyle Junior High <laughs> middle school concert band and uh, and I'm here with you today and uh, just enjoy being out there and, and, and doing things and giving of our time we've had our my thing is we've had our career and it's time to give back so that's why I'm so happy to be here with, <laughs> with you Marie that's thanks for asking me thank you sure so um, have you guys gotten any awards for Vehicle or any of your other songs? That you well, I have my gold record, <laughs> got that, and uh, you know, that was, that was our, uh, is our big one. But Jim Peterick, our, our, uh, our leader and our, our musical director, I mean, he's a Grammy Award winner and an Oscar nominated for, not for Vehicle, but for his big song, Eye of the Tiger. So, uh, but we, you know, we play all his catalog in our live show, but, uh, but it's mostly our our touring schedule, and uh, but we we do go out and do benefit work, and and uh, you know just promote everything we can, and we ch we try to look at our, ourselves as Chicago's band, and try to get ourselves make ourselves accessible. So um, real quick, where are, where's the band now? What are you doing personally? Uh, well, I'm still playing with the Ides, uh, and uh, I have a business here in Riverside, Somar's <laughs> upholstering shop, and. Real active with the Chamber of Commerce and a lot of exciting things happening in Riverside. And uh, I have a production company called Live in the Dream Productions where we, uh, where it's like an event planners for festivals and concerts. Uh, doing that, still playing my horn and, uh, you know, enjoying my music. So it's, 
I've got, I wear many hats, but uh, I'm able to juggle all those things together and uh, I enjoy them all. Well, that, that's great. I mean, yeah, it's fun. So, well, that's all the time we have. Thank you for watching the A-List. I want to thank my guest, Chuck Selmar. Thank you. I'm Marie Morgenthaler, and see you next time.